speaking of coffee, do you guys time your coffee? Like you know you're gonna um, crash at a certain time, so you like time out when you drink your coffee? Because I totally do that. I never thought I would have to do that until I had kids. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I am in the process of getting ready right now, so I figured I would turn my camera on and say hello to you guys and we can just chat a little bit. For my face already, I've used the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. This is in the color vanilla and I mixed a little bit of this Burt's Bees um, Goodness Glows foundation with it in the color buff. So little little teeny tiny bit of this for some more coverage and this is my favorite because it really is moisturizing and it just kind of like balances everything out I didn't think about filming until after I'd already gotten into it and so yeah I did do my under eyes I used the Tarte shape tape underneath and I set it with my elf um, under eye setting powder that seriously you guys they think they stopped making this but this was like such a gem it was super cheap, like two bucks, and it worked just as good as like the Laura Mercier. Um, I do like the RMS setting powder for its ingredients, but I, I'm not crazy about the way that it looks on my skin. I feel like it's very, very mattifying. Oh, my hair is looking real, real nice. The last Get Ready With Me video that I did, you guys seemed to really like it. And so I figured, what the heck, I'll do another one. That sounds fun. This is just a sample of the Park Ave Princess from Tarte. This is... Um, a bronzer and I feel like I've really been liking it for my skin it's not too like orange looking which I appreciate so how have you guys been I hope you guys are all doing well it's been kind of crazy over here which what the heck I feel like I always say that. I'm like it's been kind of crazy can you believe that sorry guys it's always crazy this is the NARS Lovejoy this is an old tried and true I'm about to hit pan on it I've used it for so long but it really is my favorite blush of all time. But yeah, it really has been a little bit more crazy than normal because John is out of town right now. He is um, away for business, for work. So yeah, he's been out of town, which has been kind of crazy with, I mean like, it's crazy all the time anyways with all the kids. But to have John gone and have me with the kids like sun up to sundown every single day I've been eating like all the coffee of the world. Speaking of coffee, do you guys time your coffee? Like you know you're gonna um, crash at a certain time, so you like time out when you drink your coffee? Cause I totally do that. I never thought I would have to do that until I had kids. Oh, I also set my eyebrows with um, some gel first. They're very thin and very like they don't do they they won't go like they go in a specific direction and that's it. So I need super glue eyebrow gel for them. So what I've been doing is I have been using the eyebrow gel first, and then I have been going in like with a pomade or or a um, eyebrow pencil and going in and like filling it in once I have my shape because it this is what I depend on for my shape. We are going to my grandma's house today. Um, my aunt is going to be there and my mom. And it's going to be just like a nice, nice excuse for us to get out of the house because I don't know about you guys, but if you're by yourself with your kids, all you single moms or, or like military wives where your husbands are gone, you guys are my heroes because seriously, it is hard. It is very, very hard being the only person. I just give you guys so much mad props because... It's hard. Day one, at the end of the day, I was like, I quit, I'm done. I'm gonna go hide in the bathroom. <laughs> it was just like so much, waking up at six o'clock in the morning and then just having four little ones that are five and under all day long with no other like adult interaction really. What did I just put in my hair? Like I'm not complaining simply because of the fact that I know there are some of you guys that do this all the time and I just seriously have so much respect for you because it is it's no joke it's really hard okay so I'm using the pink nudes palette from Pacifica and I'm using just like this orangey pinky shade you could totally just use blush for this too but since I'm filming I get ready I'm like hey let's just let's step it up and use an actual palette you know what I'm saying we'll put a little bit of brown in the corner why not We're, we fancy today I rarely do eyeshadow anymore friends rarely Rarely. It's a rarity when I do it. Let's think. Are we gonna? Sure, let's curl our eyelashes too. We're getting real fancy today. We're gonna go all out. All out to go to grandma's house. That's when you know you're a stay-at-home mom. 
it's when you get fancy to go to grandma's house. So I just put up my video talking about not having any more kids and I'm so happy with the response that I got you guys. Like seriously, you guys are awesome. I mean I knew that you guys would all be able to really relate to it, which is the reason why I did the video in the first place. I love this mascara. This is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. I just got the cheap version of it. And I really like it. But anyways, I'm just so glad for the response that you guys gave me on that because I really shared just my reasonings of why I feel like we're done having kids. And it's funny because watching that back, I had so many people, they were like, you have four kids. Why are you apologizing or explaining why you don't want more? Like, that's a lot. It's funny because watching that back, I was like, yeah, you're right. I kind of, I didn't think about it that way. But I really do view kids as a blessing. I view family as a blessing. I view, ooh, my nose is like a disco ball now. I feel so thankful and grateful to have the kids that I have. And I know so many of you guys that struggle with infertility. So I feel like sometimes... I should just like continue having all the babies simply because I can <laughs> I guess I know that sounds really like no you shouldn't do that but sometimes I feel like that's how I feel and so to say I'm done having kids and these are the reasons why I'm done having kids I didn't want it to come off as like I was complaining and so I don't know I just I try to be really aware of other people but in doing that though I can sometimes not be okay with just the like how I feel too right because it doesn't like everybody's journey is different and I'm allowed to feel how I want to feel you know I just did a post on Instagram I was just talking about like how we talk to ourselves throughout the day and I feel like in times when it's really difficult like yesterday was the first day that I was home with all of them and John was gone so we had a long day and I think it was like five o'clock and I remember sitting at my sink and I was saying like Jamie it's okay you're at the end of the day you know, you've got an hour left until we can start doing baths and things like that. Take a breath. You know, you can drink some coffee. Things don't, things don't have to be perfect right now. It's okay. It's all right. Just let it go. It doesn't have to be perfect. And that is exactly what I would say to a friend, you know. But so many times I feel like we don't say that to ourselves. We extend that grace to other people, but when it comes to ourselves, we just have a way higher caliber of what we expect. And sometimes it can be totally irrational, you know. And so I shared that on my Instagram this morning that it's just like, it's so important to speak life even to ourselves. Sometimes I feel like if I lose my temper or if I say something I shouldn't say or I have just an attitude that's not glorifying, I can be like, oh, good job, Jamie. There you go again. Opening your mouth again. Oh, great. You know, oh boy. Now you're going to give your kids issues for the rest of your life because you're just so rude or you're so, you know, like... I just like tell myself these things, you know, and it's not anything I would say to a friend. Like I would speak life to a friend, you know, I would tell them, give yourself grace. So many of the things that I tell you guys, I have to practice in my own life. And that's why I tell you because I know that I need to hear it too, you know? Anyways, long story short, speak life to yourself. Don't, don't hate on yourself. Don't be so critical. Sometimes we all need to be talked down off the ledge. Like, calm down. It's gonna be okay. You have little kids. Sometimes it's gonna be what it is, you know? So I shared that on my Instagram and it seemed to resonate with you guys. So here we are, all of us women of the world, talking to ourselves during the daytime while our kids think we're nuts. Unless you're a YouTuber and then your kids are just like assuming that you have a camera out or something somewhere, which might bring up a whole other set of issues <laughs> but um, I'm gonna do my eyebrows through this because I can see a little bit better what's going on with this bro what you doing one of my brows is always like party time and the other one is very sophisticated all right that's as good as it's gonna get um, thank you guys for hanging out with me for a little bit I'm gonna dry my hair so I don't freeze because it's snowing outside in Michigan you want to say bye can you see bye bye? Can you see you later? I gotta go see my grandma and my auntie. Yeah. You're so cute, huh? Oh, yeah, but she's gonna throw up too while we're at it. Alright, guys, on that note, see you later.